Hey guys, Retro Dona here again, and today I have a what's in the box. So this what's in the box is a battle chest for StarCraft. So StarCraft, uh, one of the best all-time RTS games. You probably know it from Twitch, you probably know it on uh, all sorts of uh, com competition type uh, videos with uh, PC games, stuff in Korea especially. So uh, this is one of my favorite old PC games. I remember playing this um, back in the 90s in my friend's uh, dad's real estate office. We would actually LAN and play StarCraft all night, like way throughout the night. And all we had to, to communicate back then was a bunch of walkie-talkies. So very fond of this game, super fun. So anyway, let's take a look inside of what we got in this battle chest. Alright guys, so here's the box, um, and let's go check out what's in the box. So we got StarCraft Battle Chest, um, rated T for Teen, online interactions not rated by the ESRB, and I don't know if you guys remember, but at the time, uh, Battle.net was one of like the biggest things as far as online gaming went. Uh, I spent hours and hours and hours playing StarCraft online, playing custom maps, you know, playing Marines, uh, what else was there to play? Uh, sunken defense, tower defense, stuff like that. So StarCraft really set the tone for a lot of online gaming. Um, at least the, the battle net did. So let's take a look. Um, box is in okay condition. Um, we have a, a really nice intact back. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at the requirements. So Windows XP Windows Vista. So you can tell that this was like a little bit of a newer version. Uh, the the original non-battle chess version probably didn't have the Windows XP and Windows Vista. I remember playing this on like a Windows 98 PC. So uh, let's go ahead and go through the specs. So Pentium 90 or equivalent, 16 megabytes of RAM, 1.3 gigabytes available hard drive space, two times CD-ROM drive, four times for cinematics, local bus, SVGA video card, DirectX 7.0 or better compatible, Microsoft compatible mouse, DirectX 7.0 or better compatible sound card for audio. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but sound cards are pretty much like a lost treasure, or at least I don't think anyone that I know buys a sound card anymore. So kind of a funny thing to be listing on here. So for the Macintosh and Macs, we got Mac OS X or 10. 10.3.9 or higher, PowerPC, 16 megabytes of RAM, 32 megabytes of RAM for multiplayer, 1.3 gigabytes available hard drive space, two times CD-ROM drive for gameplay, four times cinematics, monitor support for 256 colors at 640 by 480 resolution. Uh, pretty small resolution, but eh, it's an old game. Uh, multiplayer options, two players, two, 28.8 kilobytes or faster modem. Uh, wow. <laughs> Two to eight players, TCP slash IP network or battle.net requires low latency internet connection with support for 32-bit applications. So there you go. That's kind of telling you how and what you need to have for that battle.net capability. So pretty cool, like I mentioned earlier. Um, anything else to go on over here? Kind of just a little bit of uh, agreements and stuff like that. Oh, it also says free access to battle.net. So yeah, that's it for the requirements. So let's go ahead and dive in on the box art. So we got StarCraft and we got the expansion Brood War. Um, the only choice is war, the only allies are enemies. Pretty awesome. Got some cool little screenshots here. Protoss carriers launched deadly drone interceptors. Uh, one of my favorite strategies was just massing a crap ton of drones or a whole crap ton of carriers and then having the Arbiter come and cloak everything. So you'd have just massive cloaked army and just envelop whoever's base you were attacking. Really fun strategy. Um, you got the Terran uh, mobile outpost here. Another version of it over here. This is the cinematic, cinematic version. Um, we got awards, game of the year. 
uh, Interactive Academy of Arts and Sciences, 97 to 98 award year. So yeah, you can see that was a 90s game. Uh, five out of five stars, Computer Gaming World, one of the best-selling PC games. And I'm sure a lot of you already are aware of that. So official strategy guides is what's in the box. Intense internet competition, a few other things that talk about the battle net. So let's go ahead and look and see what's actually in the box. All right, so here's our battle chest. We got our official strategy guide for Brood War. It's in like perfect condition here. Awesome. Got our original StarCraft strategy guide. Again, super good condition. Um, no creases, nothing like that. I love this thing. You know, you got, you got the unit health, you got the shield, hit points, ground attack, you got all that stuff. So this is pretty cool. I mean, at the time you didn't have the internet, so this is the only thing you really had for strategy or just uh, playing the game and sucking. So um, really awesome to have one of these things. We got our little leaflet here. This is just for the original StarCraft. Uh, I think this is basically what they throw in the jewel cases typically. So the little sleeve is kind of beat. You know, obviously we got some ripping here, tearing, but um, yeah, pretty cool black sleeve. Um, so yeah, again, this goes with that. Here's our Brood War, little leaflet here, expansion set. Again, I mean, this is what I believe came with almost every game. So you kind of have a little bit of the same stuff that is repeating from here that's in the strategy guide. So. Um, pretty cool. You got some units here. For example, you got the Dark Templar, one of the really cool units of the Protoss in the expansion. Um, you know, you, these guys are permanently cloaked, so if you get bum rushed with one of these guys or multiple of these guys, you're pretty much screwed. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. Cool art on this. Yeah, we got the Medic, Lurker. Yeah, pretty cool. So, again, this goes with that. And. We got a couple more things here. Got two World of Warcraft guest passes. So I don't know if these still work, but yeah, you guys feel free to use them if you want. Pause the video and uh, write these down, but I, I doubt they work. So anyway, you got a 10 day guest pass key, two of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then you got your, your tech trees for each race. So we got, let's go through the Protoss real quick. So we got, Pylon, you know, build more pylons. Nexus, Assimilator, Gateway Forge. So yeah, pretty cool. You got everything. So it tells you what you need to build and how to get down to what it is that you want. You know, say you want to build your um, your Dark Templars and your Templar archives, but you have to build the Citadel first. So yeah, pretty cool. Shows you everything for the, um, the buildings. And then we got the unit tree here. Well, not really much of a tree, but it says unit dependencies. So kind of tells you what you need to build it. So if you want your carriers cloaked, you got your arbiter and your carrier. Here's the buildings that you need also for the arbiter, but you need to also have these, these couple things here. I'm not sure why they're red. Oh, here it says unit required. So parent unit requires, that's what these things are. Kind of cool also says um, the little arrow here is where the actual unit is going to be prepared um, you see here unit produced so yeah we got the Terran got your battle cruiser your uh, your big boss here battle cruiser you need a command center barracks factory and then a star part produces it but you also need these these three things here control tower science facility physics lab so pretty cool so yeah you got your lurker Hatchery, spawning pool, hydralisk then upgrade to layer, evolve lurker aspect, and then you morph the hydralisk. So you have to have a hydralisk to make one of these guys. So yeah, it's pretty cool that it comes with all this stuff. Um like, let me just open that Zerg. Tech tree while you're playing your game, mashing all those macros. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to have. Um but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have a real short video show you guys what's in the box of a StarCraft battle chest, in case you wanted to know. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know your personal stories when you've played StarCraft or any other Blizzard game. Um, like I said, this was one of my favorites. So I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.